Rais Uhuru Kenyatta alijumuika na waombolezaji marafiki ndugu na jamaa wa marehemu Nicholas Biwot aliyezikwa nyumbani kwake kijijini Chebior katika kaunti ya Elgeyo Marakwet. Seneta wa Baringo Gideon Moi alisoma rambi rambi za Rais Mstaafu Daniel Arap Moi alimtaja marehemu Biwot kuwa mtu aliyejitolea kuwasaidia watu wajane na watoto wa marehemu walielezea furaha zao kwa wananchi kutokana na rambi rambi zilizowatia moyo licha ya kumpoteza kiongozi huyo aliyetajika sana katika uh, serikali ya rais Mustaf Moi It's very sad sometimes and very painful and hurtful to families when people throw out a lot of untruths about people just because they know that if they can shake the strong pillars maybe the real target that they are looking for will fall and in order to shake those pillars they will throw mud they will accuse without recognizing that those individuals like Nicholas Biwot also have families out there and I think it's time we really started to reconsider the manner in which we handle and do our politics. Nicholas Biwot was a very hardworking Kenyan. And he did whatever he did with determination, passion, and excellence. It has been said here that he was minister in several ministries. And if you go to those ministries, you will find Nicholas Biwot's footprints. There are people who go to ministries and they come out without a record of anything that they did while they were there. Nicholas Biwot was different. In all the ministries which he served, at whatever level, Biwot contributed to the formulation of policies which continue to be operational guidelines to date. The loss of his parliamentary seat did not in any way dampen his desire to continue with the development of his constituency and Kenya in general. His long and checkered career as a DO district officer positions in various ministries, members of parliament, and a cabinet minister equipped Biwa to tremendous knowledge of Kenya and the needs of our people. With this knowledge, Biwa therefore became one of the most effective and dependable public servants. As we bid farewell to this great Kenyan, I pray to God to give the bereaved family the necessary fortitude to bear the loss. Daniel Torotich Arab Moy. Met many, many people in this world and in Kenya, and I can say that I don't think I have met a brain, a person cleverer, wiser than Honorable Biwot, and may his soul rest in eternal peace. Crown your faith, safe love and loyalty. I'm sorry, for three days, the world, Kenya, America, England, whoever have wanted to hear it, have heard how great and noble a man Nicholas B. Watt was. I have heard that there are people in Kenya who are saying, what? Is this the Nicholas B. Watt we have heard about and read about? Is it the same person? And I'm saying to them today, yes. The one you heard about was vilified. He was accused of things he didn't do. Nicholas B. Watt was a great and noble man.